So, we got 10,000 Robux. Nice job. But what do we use it for? Buy some game passes on a game you really enjoy and have been playing for a while. Make sure it's a game you actually been playing for a while, not a game you just found. If it's a game you just found, you'll probably spend your money unwisely, and the next week you'll forget about the money you spent and realize, hey, why can't I buy my limited items? I thought I had a thousand Robux. Oh wait, I spent one thousand Robux getting Adobe Admin on a part game that just got deleted. Yeah, make sure you spend your things on right things. That's why I've been playing this game for around a couple weeks, and I bought some of the th game passes. You obviously can't see it because um, they're bought. Um, but I bought them, and it actually is pretty good. Um, they helped make the game a little easier for me, a little more fun. Um, so, I bought them, you know? You know? Always good to do that. Also, make sure they're not overpriced. I mean, if it's a thousand Robux for like, oh, plus two gold, um, yeah, don't, don't do that. Unless gold is like Bitcoin, yeah, I guess spend that much for it but not 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 the smart idea don't 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 do much bit bitcoin unless you got like an entire bitcoin then you're rich cool next you're gonna try to find a limited item that you think suits you or they just want to resell i found this helmet that actually is only going barely above what it usually is and it's been spiking a bit so i'm just gonna buy and hope for the best oh no it's not for sale I missed my chance. It went back up. My rule of thumb when buying limiteds is don't go for ones like this. As you can see, they have a lower trend towards the 500 mark, and then it suddenly bursts up. It's now at like 780. You're not going to want to buy that because it's not with the trend. I mean, the trend's like slightly above it, but you want to get it at its low point, not its high point. Because if you get it at its high point, you're going to lose money. It's like stocks if you ever invest it. You see, this one's a bit risky because it has been going up and down, and it's currently at 1,600. So you see it goes down to 1,429, but then it's all the way up at 2,000. Now if we could take a closer look at the 30 days, we'll see that it went above 1,000, 2,000, a couple times actually, then below, and then above. So 1,500 is only 100 below normal, and that's around 150 below. Then it goes above, and then above, and then above, but then really low, and as such, forth in other ways. Uh, now there's three below there is three that are severely different than the fourth, which the fourth is around 500 Robux more. So I'm going to buy this one in hopes of making a little money back. Um, that is what you do with selling your Robux. That's around 1,500. Again, another 2,000 is about the max you want to put on it. Then you're going to want to look at your friend and say, hey, I really wanted that. So you go and buy it for an unreasonable amount of money. You see, completely unreasonable. This is just like obscenely high for what it should be. Like, it's I, people have bought it for 3000 and I bought it just for 6000 I mean, like seriously, you should never buy something for that much. But yeah, that's the point of the game. Then you venture back to their inventory and find out they have something around seven times the amount you actually bought the other one for. You realize they'll never be up to their standards. And you cry. Now, if you're a furry or a furry-related person, I recommend going to them, down to this person named Who to Trust, because they make a lot of good stuff. You can go to his creations and figure out every single thing he's made. That is a complete joke because I cannot see their inventory. Honestly, go to Community Creations and you'll find it like something like this that you like. Buy it. Let me see if it would work. And um, just buy like I don't know, 80 of them. 80 of them. It doesn't matter how many you buy. It's good. I know it's not made by who to trust, but I'm not saying it's only made by him. And since you're complete another Chad, you'll buy the noob cake because it looks cool. And then the new balloons. The new balloons. Then realizing with the only money you have left, which is 979 Robux, you'll start to cry your eyes out because you realize you just spent 10,000 Robux on things that don't even matter in your real life. You will then cherish these last 979 Robux for the rest of the 36 months that you won't have Robux. Or, if you're a YouTuber, it'd be helpful to actually make a gold giveaway on a game you're popular in. Such as Build-A-Boat for Treasure for me, and I'm, you probably saw my video already, 
of me giving away separate amounts of gold. So yeah, that's it's gonna be fun. I know. It's not a waste of money. Could totally gonna pay off. Help me. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you out in choosing what to buy with your 10,000 Robux. If you ever come into this problem yourself, please refer back to this video and give it a like. This will be a very helpful guide and should not be taken seriously. Please have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.